Hey guys, what's up? This is Nestor here at the studio. Um, I just, this video is about uh, the importance of composition and about how to create a painting. Not so much about the how to, sorry, but the process of it. And before that, it has to be with your sketchbook and your composition making. So here we go. As you can see, this is my sketchbook right here. Um, it's like my best friend is where I draw everything. And the latest painting that I've done is this one, as we can see right here in the background, hanging already. But I want to show you um, how I got to the process of making this painting. Um, as you can see right here, I sketched out the ideas. It all started with um, making the boxes each one of these boxes is made out of wood and I have to make each and every single one of them that you will not see that through the video because it's a whole different process and, but you can see it here in my sketch how I did the canvas making and uh, how they all had to be 12 by 12 and all of that uh, then I decided that I was going to do the pouring technique and I, there have to be nine boxes, and the, uh, this was the first time I did the pouring technique, so I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the challenge was to make this painting into two paintings. It's one painting, but it will have to be rearranged in a way that you have to make another painting in the same painting. So it's like two paintings in one. With that being said. I wanted to do, uh, like I said, a pouring technique where all the colors matched together and it was one painting alone. And then I wanted to add the map of and the roads and maps of the Dallas Fort Worth, like Capel, Irving, Dallas, Arlington, Grand Prairie, Euless, which is like mostly where I drive and stuff like that. Um, most of the time I always do some portraits and I wanted to add these um, not so much like painted sub portraits but uh, 3D sub portraits of myself um, 3D prints and I also of course wanted to add my logo which um, you can see in my hat right here see right here it's upside down it's in reverse but there's my logo right there and um, here's the third uh, picture where it shows how it will look together at least one of them when they're finished so to get to that I had to first make the boxes which I did at this, at this other studio and uh, once they were done I, um, I was ready to start painting and I did the pouring technique over it. Again, it will not be shown how to here, but uh, maybe a little bit of, here's a little bit of how I, it looks like, and how I made it to look like it was one piece and cohesive to make sure that I did the first part of the painting and achieved that one painting and that what it, it looked, it all looked like it was one piece together. Um, after that, I did the other part where there was the roads and the maps, and you can see me here painting with white, the roads and the maps on it. Um, once I was done painting it, I realized that uh, overall it was nine paintings in one, um, not, um, nine paintings, because each box was an abstract painting. And then there was the other colorful painting and then the maps painting. But then I wanted it to be um, three, uh, three, I wanted it to be games. I call this painting the game, the game of life. So the first is a puzzle where you match, you have to find the boxes and you have to put them together uh, in a way that you can match the colors with each other. And then, and it's kind of hard because the lines throw you off of the maps. And then you have to find the maps 
together and make him connect it but the thing is that you don't know that it's a Dallas Fort Worth map so that's the game itself and it's kind of twisted because then again you're working with the um with the with the colors in the background and um that's why it's kind of hard and after that there's a third game where uh, because it's nine and it's split into um into nine pieces it, it's the game of tic-tac-toe so you can play with my 3d prints of my face and uh, with a printed logo which I to make the print 2d uh, of my face I had to scan my face at the library and then I had to print it with these really cool machines to make a 3d print of it and then I had to create my logo also uh, in a way that I could have it printed in, in 3D as well. And I paint them in the colors that I choose for the color scheme, which was gold, magenta, and turquoise. And then I put magnets in the back of my boxes, as you can see right here, and in the back of the faces. And, um, you're able to connect them as you see some of these pictures where my friend is playing tic-tac-toe and he's placing them where they're supposed to go and i really enjoyed it because now i have created art that is able to to be touched you go to the museums and you can't really can't touch artwork but this one you can actually play with it hang it unhang it and actually be able to touch the pieces and put them back in there and then place them elsewhere and have a little fun. I can't wait to hang this in my room and have my nieces come over and play with my art. Thank you guys. But the main idea about this is that it all starts with the sketchbook. It all starts with an idea. It starts with your head and then you put it in your sketchbook and then you make it into reality. But that's the thing. If you don't start, if you don't blueprint, the buildings are never going to get built. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.